Brian and Kelly back again for another BrewTubers 2020 yeast experiment. We are going to actually dive into the beers that were brewed by... How are going to dive? Dive? <laughs> well, it's a shallow dive. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to hurt. <laughs> we're going to dive into the beers of the masterminds of this whole thing. Uh, Gary, the guy that kind of came up with the whole idea for the experiment. And then I know Nick from Exit 12 Brewing had a big hand in it. So... We're gonna take a look at their beers and uh, drink them, dive into them, hit our heads. <laughs> Break the glass. <laughs> Break a glass, Do whatever. the backstroke. <laughs> exactly. All right, so uh, Gary brewed a beer with the, the yeast was Maniacal Joggernaut, and that was fermented between 85 and 90 degrees. And I'll tell you what the- That's a good was, Scrabble word. Yeah, right, Joggernaut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Use up all your letters. Yep. Uh, brewed on 2-8 of 2020. OG was 1067, so that was right on the mark. Uh, final gravity was 1016, so a little bit high, not too bad. Uh, canned on 3-4. Uh, yeast, like I said, was maniacal and uh, brewed out of Aples, uh, Naples, Aples, Naples, Florida. ABV of 6.7%. He actually even puts the government warning on the side of the label and everything, so um, you're not pregnant, are you? Oh. Okay, well then, if you are, you shouldn't be drinking this. But. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Oh. I mean, I love babies, don't get me wrong. It's and just... he definitely fills his to the top. I think I've heard him say that before, so. Too old. Let's uh, get a pour well, on this dude. Each to their own. All right. Oh, man, that looks nice and clear. I'll tell you what. Well, let me not hog it all up there. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Please spare an inch. Exactly. Spare a square. Spare some for me, sir. All right. So let's take a look. Man, that's, that is that is that is crystal yeah, clear. Holy cow, pretty. that is really clear. I can smell it from over here. My goodness, that is awesome. Too. That is really, really clear. Wow. About How a do one I spell finger juggernaut? J A G G E R N A U G H T. It is spelled yeah. Let me see. Uh J Juggernaut. Actually not Juggernaut. Oh, it's a juggernaut. A U, it's I mean. It's spelled like jugs. <laughs> All right, let's get the nose on this thing. Ooh, I'm definitely get you always do that. <laughs> Can you just tell me what it <laughs> smells it like? my lips. I want to drink it. <laughs> Your body just takes over. Like, I must drink it. I'm definitely picking up a lot of citrus in yes, there. Yes. This of citrus. is like a pineapple. Yeah, pineapple, maybe some mango. Mango. Yeah, for sure. Bingo. Bingo, mango. Yeah, but I only pulled two letters or two, two numbers. <laughs> you can't have bingo yet. Oh, that's funny. All right. Yeah, no, okay. that smells, that smells really good. Um, Let's get the taste on it. Mango. Mango, bango. Wow, that tastes like mango. Boy, it has a it has, and it has a really interesting interesting. Can I see the can? Um, yeah, it has a real interesting uh, aftertaste to Cloudy it. Cloudy sky, smooth seas. Yeah, kind very of nice. almost like um. I'm not gonna say chocolatey, but it's almost like um. Man, there's like a, there's a, a weird, not a weird, but a, oh, a different it right. bitterness taste to it. Uh, yeah, man, I can't, it's hard to identify really. Um, definitely I, smooth, nice smooth. carbonation. To me, it's mango all the way. Yeah? It'd be but, good in Are you Florida. tasting that like kind of like a, no. uh, a bit, maybe it's just, I don't know, maybe because I, I haven't drank too much today. <laughs> it's first beer of the night. Uh. So what are you saying? I've had like a six pack yeah, or something. Yeah, I mean, you, you worked so at home today, so, you know, it's like. Oh, shit, no way. I mean, shoot. Give me a break, Brian. Free no. taps. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know you would Never, do ever. <laughs> Good grief. Mm. To me, it's mango. It's nummy. Yeah, definitely. Um, I could drink this on the beach. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it is brewed down in Florida, so I'm sure Gary mm -hmm. probably has drank many of these on the beach. <laughs> or as many as he had left after brewing. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that that's really good. Um, again, you know, picking up an interesting. I guess it's a malt flavor. I'm not 100% 85 sure. Eighty-five to ninety. <laughs> yeah, so it was a high temp fermentation yeah. on this one. Um, I do like <laughs> this one. It has a it has yeah, an interesting too. aftertaste, but definitely like the aroma, the the flavor of it. Cold um, crash, definitely hours. nice beer, Gary. Definitely, uh, I'm I'm curious to know how you got that much clarity on it because it is really really yeah, clear. Yeah, this is very professional. That's clearer than what mine is, at least from what I've seen. I've got a bottle of mine left to uh, try out at the end. So, all right, we're gonna finish this up and then we'll be back with uh, Nick and Brandon from Exit Twelve Brewery. We'll be back in a second.
I wanted to take a moment to thank the sponsors of the BrewTubers 2020 Yeast Experiment, Imperial Yeast for their top-tier half stainless steel mash paddle sponsorship, and Hopsteiner, deep in the heart of Yakima Valley, producing quality hops for over six generations. Visit their website at hopsteiner.com. All right, so the camera didn't start, but uh, <laughs> we, we're, we're over the malfunction now. So we got uh, Brandon and well, you missed Nick. missed the cat bomb. So yeah, that's exactly, good. the you cat bomb. You missed that. Raptors. So <laughs> cat jumped down out of the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> so we got uh, Nick and Brandon's beer. The beer is brewed with Imperial Joystick A18, uh, OG 1065, uh, Final Gravity 1016. Uh, the fermentation profile Slow was down. a pitched at 61 degrees. Uh, one day fermented at 62, then five days at 65, and then they cold crash for eight days. And of course, as eight the experiment, days? yeah, oh. as the experiment dictated, uh, dry hop for 24 hours under cold crashing, then bottle it, then or then keg it, and then bottle it shortly after. Doesn't say when they bottled it or when they kegged it. So, so imperial joysticks were sort of like a Star Wars play on. Yeah, they have a bunch of weird gaming. names for their <laughs> yeast. It's kind of interesting. They they said they'll never have any ordinary names for their for their yeast. So oh, that's cool. Let's get a pour on this thing. What was the ABV on this? Uh, Six point seven percent. Okay. There's that one. Ooh, this one is nice and clear looking too. Oh, it's very clear. So, oh, that looks like there's some stuff in the bottom there. We'll leave that out. All right, so we got uh, about a half finger head, something like that, on it. Um, nice golden color. I mean, it's it's uh, same golden color that we've been seeing on all of them, pretty much. Um, beautiful beer. I love the Yours color. Yours is of this very beer. clear. Love the color of this. Nice yeah, I think we had a little bit of dregs still... coming out of the bottle there. Oh, that's great. So let's. Uh... I smelled it. Hmm. I can't really smell much right now. Really? For some reason. Yeah, I'm getting um... citrus. Yeah, I'm getting a little citrus. I'm getting um, almost almost smells a little bit boozy. I know that it's really not that high of alcohol. Six point seven. Maybe I'm, I'm picking up a little bit of a little bit of phenolic character from the yeast. I'm not sure what the characteristics of joystick are, mm -hmm. but um, you know maybe picking up some characteristics of that. Uh, I don't know for sure, but um, let's get the taste on it. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely picking up you some. You can't taste it with citrus. your nose. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's really good. That's very smooth. Mm -hmm. I can't even tell it's an IPA. Yeah, there's definitely not a ton of bitterness to it. No. Um, it's, it's not very quite subdued. a pills or a lager or an ale, but it's not an IPA. Yeah, it's uh, it's I an mean, ale yeast. I mean, it is an ale, but oh, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, it definitely doesn't have a, a real pronounced bitterness like you would expect from a West Coast IPA. There it comes. <clears> it's <throat> a little bit. After you have a second drink, it's there. Yes, I mean, it, it kind of comes on a little bit at the end there. Um, definitely picking up some some citrus, maybe even a little dankness from the mm -hmm. from the hops. Um, not a ton, but just a little bit. But uh, beautiful beer, nice and clear. Mm -hmm. uh, good carbonation on it for sure. I know they wanted to can it, but they wound up bottling it. But definitely looks like they got the carbonation right on it for sure. Yeah, they did good. Yeah, nice beer for sure. That's really good. Mm. Good stuff. Well, we decided we're going to do a third one. We were only going to do two, but uh, we're going to go ahead and do three. So we'll finish this beer up, make our notes, and then uh, we'll be back with beer number three for tonight. And uh, we'll see you on the other side. All right, so next beer up, we are actually going to review uh, Matthews from Wrecked Brewery. Uh, it is the 2020 yeast experiment, and he is using uh, Omega Yeast Lab 200, uh, uh, OYL 200. Have we used that before? Yeah, I've used it uh -huh. in a couple different beers, actually. They sent me a big care package of them. Um, OG was 1065, so right in there in the experiment. And this one is uh, finished at 1.008. Oh, so dear. Definitely dry. <laughs> Uh, you're going to ask the ABV next? Yep. 7.5. Okay. So this is definitely pushing it for the style guidelines of well, a I like KBB. Uh, West Coast type. Yeah, higher. exactly. 8. Was that 9%? 8.3 <laughs> usually, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, fermented at 75 degrees, uh, brewed on 2.2 of 20, and kegged on 2.12, and then bottled on 2.24. So what? Let's that, get... that all went way too fast. Uh, brewed on 2.2, mm -hmm. February 2nd, kegged on <laughs> February 12th. And then bottled okay. on February 24th. 2 12 24. So it would have been dry hops for 24 hours 
on 211, well, starting on 211. Ooh, nice hiss. Let's uh, get a pour on it here. It's just fun to do. Ooh, this one's definitely <laughs> got some carbonation to it. Wow, it was happy to Man, be Matt, a part of the scene. Got some carbonation on this bad boy. That's awesome sure. with a bottle. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you've got like been, three fingers. I've got a, <laughs> right. you got, I got a whole hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, definitely well oh, carbonated. That one's a dank one. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, lots pretty. of large bubbles, some small bubbles in there. Uh, looking good. It's actually not coming up it down. really, really uh, cool from the, the uh, nucleations on the bottom of the glass here. I don't know if you can see it on that camera or not, but definitely got a bunch of bubbles coming up from that. So it's got good lacing. Oh wow! Yeah, this definitely has a. It definitely has a blanket. Yeah, it definitely has a, a kind of a little bit of a funkiness to it. Mm -hmm. um, I think that I can't remember I, the OYL. I think is maybe like a. Um, I think it might be like a Kavike yeast or something like that. But I, I'm not 100 percent sure. Well, don't it, quote me on it's that. It's recognizable because I remember that smell with the beer yeah, that you've made. It's definitely. But the beers were still good. It's just beers I really yeah, don't drink. Yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to look and see what the uh, OYL I mean, 200 as a is. Choice. What's that? I really don't drink IPAs as of choice. Right. Um, but I remember that smell with your beers that you made. Yeah. Which, you know, thank you for bearing, you know, grinning and bearing it through this. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's hard to drink beer after work. She might work. rather be drinking something. Yeah, it's so hard. <laughs> Twist your arm. Ah. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, get the taste on them. Oh, already? Okay, good. What, did you, you going to tell me what, what you smelled on it or what? I mean, <laughs> I what's... <laughs> It's like a champagne bubbly, is it? It's definitely got lots of carbonation to it for sure. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of fun that just drinking it. Yeah, I mean, it, it's uh, it's like um, those rock things that pop in your yeah, mouth. Yeah, the pop rocks. Yeah. <laughs> I I almost wouldn't call this an IPA, mm -mm. would you? I mean, it's more. I would call it champagne. Yeah, champagne. Right. <laughs> it's more almost like along the lines of um, a Belgian or something. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. But even. Um, lighter on the palate yeah i mean not as not, not as hoppy. much funk if you will as a belgian mm -hmm. has or as much you know character character bubblegum uh clove all that kind of stuff some of those belgian yeasts do that but uh i got more like experiment more with bubblegum clove yeah i mean that's what some of those some of the belgian and the wheat, wheat beers wheat beers use do that sometimes some but of the yeast that they did do did we ever use that uh no i've never anyway, used that oyo that's off step okay this is good yeah it's neat it definitely has that um I don't, I don't know what to call it, but other than that, you know, kind of a, you said blanket, like that mm -hmm. horse blanket kind of <laughs> Definitely has a, like a Saison-ish, um, mm -hmm. kind of a, a little bit of a, a earthy, if you will, like an earthy tone to it's it. It's really fun to aroma. drink though, because it bubbles in my mouth. It's like yeah, it, it doesn't taste like it smells. Mm -mm. I mean, you know, it, it, it's, it smells very know, earthy, you, very... You want to drink... After you smell some, you're like, oh, and this one, you're like, okay, okay. And then you're like, ooh, that was good. Yeah, so it actually, it, it, it tastes better than it smells. And that's mm -hmm. not a bad thing necessarily, but um, you're maybe thinking you're going to get a little bit of sourness, maybe a little bit of funkiness or something like that. But this is, is actually definitely more like a, like a Belgian almost, but without the without those other characteristics mm -hmm. of a Belgian. I could so. see this being on tap somewhere. Yeah, oh, for sure. Um, I, again, I, I don't know that this would be the best yeast for an IPA, quite honestly. It, it's a nice beer. But uh, definitely has some of the characteristics that I don't find usually in West Coast IPAs, and it definitely is not pronouncing the hops as much as some of the other yeasts that we've had. Right. I think so. But Matt, uh, great representation for the experiment, and uh, you know, good good to get all these varying opinions of the different yeast. You know, to try to figure out what you like, what you don't like, what what accentuates hops, what accentuates other flavors. Out. So, I mean, it's the gnats. Something. Oh. Around my head. Are you sure? So? Are you sure? I didn't see anything. It's my <laughs> schizophrenia. I just spit. <laughs> so I want to uh, close the video with thanking our Patreons. We recently started a Patreon account and I uh, wanted to thank Ooh. all of our Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for supporting us. We really appreciate it. You're seeing this video earlier than everybody else because you're part of the Patreon squad. Thank you. And, uh, you know, this has been Brian and Kelly for the BrewTubers 2020 Yeast Experiment. And we'll see you in the next video where we review some more beers that are brewed with different yeast. Five. five. Do we have five?
Uh, maybe more than that. I don't know. Bye. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you. <laughs>